Well, in this week's Mission MCLB, Fox 31's Rami Smith sat down with the base commander to see what hopes and goals they have for the new year as it relates to the community. The base likes to emphasize service to country, corps, and community, and in 2013, they plan to amp up their involvement. It's not a, a set of responsibilities in particular, but it's more of a mindset. You know, I'm here to serve, and it doesn't end, you know, it doesn't just go from 9 to 5, but that it's a 24-7. It's a and it's Colonel Davis's job to motivate and educate the 4,500 people connected to the base to give back. You know, when it comes to things in, in southwest Georgia and here in Albany, is how can we better... Uh, uh, serve our community and, and be great stewards of, uh, of the things that uh, you know, our country and creator have given us. The base plans to continue ongoing efforts working with elementary school students, high school career days, hosting the Independence Day celebration, mud run, canine warriors race, and planning for the battle color ceremony that will feature the silent drill team and commandant's band. You know, there are so many different ways to serve, uh, not just in uniform in the Marine Corps or overseas, but uh, every day. Uh, with our fellow brothers and sisters who uh, live and work and play outside the gate, as well as those that are inside the gate. Even though the first month of the new year is over, Colonel Davis wants the base to help Southwest Georgia's dreams come true in 2013. And, and to see dreams become reality really requires people to believe that they can. And so uh, my hope uh, for the new year for this area is that we, you know, we, we, we look at each other and we believe and we work and we act like we can. Romney Smith, Fox 31 News.